Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very important concept that is production support project. So what is production support project and what we will be doing in that, okay, which is very important for us to understand. So stay tuned and let us get started. Now when I say production support project, so when does the actual word production comes into picture? So that is first development of your report will happen that we know and then testing will happen that we also we know after that reports are migrated to production environment where the real users or actual users of the report will use your report okay so it will be published onto a very stable environment when i say stable environment all of your like say tables okay your environment your users everything is up to date here okay and every day users will be logging in and saying in like that now so to understand suppose we are in development Okay, so you as a developer might work on, like say one report. Okay, um, I am as a developer will work on another report. Okay, so this is my report too. So there is another developer who will be working on another report, like say this is report C, report three. Now these three developers are, there can be any number of developers who will be working over a period of time. Okay, and they will be pushing that report to a final destination place called as production. So today you might be part of this team. So you are developing one pro report and pushing it to production. So tomorrow you might go out into another project, but production team will be there who will be taking care of your report. So your role is only till you know, pushing the report to the production. But after that, there will be a separate team whose role is to take care of this this kind of reports that are there in production. Now, this is called as production support project here. Okay, now suppose, you know, when you have joined a new company, there are chances that you might be either part of a development, okay, or you might be part of a migration project, or you might be part of production support project. It can be, you know, anything. Okay, but today in this video, we are trying to answer what is production support project. So as a developer, you have pushed all the reports. So now there will be a separate team called as production team. So to general uh, categorize it, I'm calling it as production support team. Okay, so their job is to take care of all the reports that are there in the uh, production environment. Like say, like how this developer one pushed to this report, this developer two pushed to this report, and this developer pushed to this report to a common environment called as production. Okay. Now after moving it, these developers went out of this team. Now who will take care of this? There should be some team who will take care of this. That team is called as production support team. Now again, this entire team is separately different from developers. Okay, so again, it might it will require a uh, Tableau developers or Tableau specialist to understand what it is like that. Now our role will be to take care of that report. So for example, what I'm doing is I'm showing you few reports here. Okay, so assume this is one report that user has developed. Okay, so Assume this is one report that user has developed, okay? And they have, after doing all the testing, they have moved it to production and they have scheduled it. Likewise, there is also another report. Assume this is another report that user has pushed, okay? And this is also available in production environment. Now, end users will log into this report every day. Okay, so like that, there can be, let's say, assume 10 to 20 reports are there in your production environment. Okay, now your job role is to manage this 
मैनेज और टेक केयर ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट सो वेन इनिशियली दिस रिपोर्ट आर मूव टू प्रोडक्शन एनवायरमेंट ओके दे विल बी सक्सेसफुली टेस्टेड एंड चांसेस आर देर दैट दे आर ऑल्सो स्केड्यूल्ड टू रन ऑन ए स्पेसिफिक टाइम time to get the latest data so that is first thing okay because every report needs to be updated so every day this jo uh, jobs will run okay and uh, they will get the latest data so that response that is our one role to take care so what is the first role here to make sure so i am writing roles here the first role is to make sure all the reports are showing latest data and the job refresh is running successfully every day so this will be one day to day responsibility of a production specialist okay now you will log in and see if there is any issue with this or anything so that is one thing so second thing is there might be some change request that you might be getting okay so like say user will come and say you know rahul in this report i am saying facebook as 35 here vacants but when i check in the database it is 50 now there is again one you know data mismatch is happening now our job is to identify why it is showing 35 here and why in the database it is showing 50 first data mismatch so data mismatch issues we need to fix so again you need to check why it is 50 in our database and why it is showing 35 in tableau we need to identify and fix this so first we need to find out who is right whether our database is right or our report is right whether our report is successfully refreshed or not that also we need to check there so we will start validating so that kind of requests are also possible okay so this this is data issue second there might be change request like say client will tell rahul you know i don't need or you know instagram we have stopped it so i don't want it or suppose facebook is decommissioned so instead of that they uh, these guys are marketing in youtube like that so he will tell you know remove facebook advertisements i don't want or add a new column here which should have youtube also then that is a new change request that we are getting in so these are called as like small or minor enhancement enhancement request okay clear to here so this kind of request also we might get on a day to day basis okay so that also we need to take care or sometimes this report might not show so now client will tell are rahul you know when i'm trying to open my report you know i'm not seeing the full screen or the you know dashboard is not you know completely visible what do i need to do then you need to again fix that so he will say that you know it is going beyond my screen or some of this is going you know uh, i'm seeing only till here i'm not seeing this walk in or my texts are not readable uh, something so this kind of issues you might you know face they will say you know my dashboard alignment is not good uh, in the server when i'm trying to zoom in nothing is working or my action filter is not working so if i am clicking 47 nothing is happening here so can you check so this is again data issue or your report issue like that okay so this kind of uh, alignment issues font issues or uh, date uh, action issues so this kind of issues are also possible in real time okay again we need to check why it is not having or why it is not uh, you know behaving now again after deploying this you know client will feel that okay i need to uh, 
have an option to download the report. So initially they didn't have the download option. Now they want download option. So that once they click on this, they want to download. Again, you are getting a new request. Okay. Or they can be uh, no, another advancement. Like say now we are going into FI23, right? So currently we are in FI22. Now client will tell I need to update my report. So can you create another dashboard for FI23? So again, you are getting a new request here. So he will tell, you know, you can create another dashboard, but uh, initially they should be uh, you know, visiting to only this page or you can create a landing page dashboard. Okay. So that kind of thing or also landing page dashboard is again very important here. So I'll put star mark. Okay. So he might ask you to create. So that is when we can use our development uh, developer skills to create that kind of thing. Okay, so this kind of scenarios are possible in a day to day life of a production support engineer. Okay, again, this is specific to Tableau. So this is for one report. So there as the number of reports increases, number of issues will be more. So either user can communicate to you over an email or he might raise some defects. So there are two possible situations here. They can raise defects in some Jira or whatever the ticketing system you are following. They can raise ticket and assign it to you or they can you know, communicate via email. Anything is possible, okay? But our job is to make sure all the reports are up and running all the time. Okay. So, and all of your databases are correct, you know. So see here, our report is ready. Okay. No worries, no issues, but our DBA team might be changing some or the other, other thing frequently. They will load the data every day. So data might not get refreshed properly or they might load something else. So this kind of situations are possible. So once something is happening at the database level, it will impact your Tableau so, or your dashboard. So when your dashboard is impacting, client will come back to you. Now you need to see that point also, I will write it here. Seventh point, database activities. This DBA team will done. Anything that is happening at database level, it will impact your dashboard now when that is impacting for end user the point of contact is always your dashboard he will not know what is happening at your database so he will come back to us and say rahul dashboard is not visible what do i need to do now it is again we have to backtrace what happened who did what okay so this is the first thing that we need to do again so these kind of issues are very common in real time for a production specialist engineer okay so i think so uh, that's about production uh, support roles and responsibilities i hope you got some clarity on how uh, the work model will be in real time for a production support engineer if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day